right, so this is the tutorial for today. It is a long one, so saddle up. I did everything. This is a no step skip except on like this lash because my camera wasn't turning on. My camera wasn't turning on. I don't know what's going on with it. It does it does this like beep 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 sound and then I can't do anything. So yeah, so this is the look. Use my Juvia's Place stuff. I actually built this lipstick, this matte lipstick that you're seeing teeth are white though yes so this is the tutorial for today thank you so much for watching it's going to be a long one don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell and also comment and also tell your auntie about me your mother your father your sister your brother everybody your auntie your uncle your nephew your niece your grand aunt everybody hi guys so let's just kick this tutorial right off um i know that you guys like my start to finish looks but in order for me to do those i actually have to have like music playing because it takes me like probably 45 minutes or so side note my brows need to be done so badly so it's going to be all stubbly hmm. but anyway so i really wanted to talk to you guys just about um just some like a mini update or a big update or whatever so um as you guys know i have a vlog channel it's called lyric uncut and i've been vlogging more and more because it's more relaxed and stuff um between my vlog channel and my instagram like they get information quickly you know what i mean like they get information like what i'm doing what i'm up to and i have a new venture which if you guys follow me on instagram you guys would know what that is the thing is i noticed with me that when it comes to like my pregnancies they always come with something and that's what i noticed so drama, what i mean by that is that they come with like a business idea or something it's like like i'm leveling up almost with jonathan poem was launched poem by lyric um because of the the launch of poem by lyric i was able to do um pull me lashes pull me fitness you know and know with the birth or with the conception and growing <laughs> of this little one we have we're now in doing um pull me lace right i don't talk too much about it i'm just it's a lot that needs to go into it because but let me, let me just kind of give you guys like a rundown so i am selling wigs right i'm selling wigs wigs that i like you see me review here on youtube i don't keep them i end up selling them and let me tell you why i'm doing that for years and i mean years since i started getting wigs or, or getting hair i've always given away my hair always if anybody asks me i always give to the point where I had absolutely no more hair left in my quote-unquote infantry inventory sorry so I had none left because I was always giving them away so for a while until like a company wrote me or you know reach out to me I would just you know wear my headband and I would try to you know style my natural hair you know what I mean so for a while that was happening and then my husband was like yo you know why don't you try and sell the wigs and I'm like Babe, nobody is going to buy a wig that I have already reviewed. Like, nobody. So, I was like, I don't think that's going to work. And then, um, I gave it some more thought and I started to ask him. I was like, I was like, Adams, what do you mean? And stuff like that. So, the idea to actually, um, going to hair was actually my husband's idea. Um, so when I say we, it's a literal we, you know, like him and I, him and me, you know, we, us. So, um, yes, yeah, so he talked me into it and we've been discussing, I've been reaching out, I've been doing my research. It's taking a little bit longer than I anticipated, you know, financially speaking. It's a bigger investment. No, I lie, my brushes my brushes are my biggest investment yet um they remain to be the most expensive thing expensive um product that i carry and i really yo like i'm working if 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 this works out how i want it to work out with the hair 
then I'm going to um, like help. Uh, hopefully, it can help with the production of the brushes that I really want to do. Because I have been using the samples now for months, but it's to make them. You guys have no idea how expensive it is to make them. But yeah. So, um, so this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I don't like this eyebrow. I'm going to love this eyebrow shape better than this. <sighs> it always happens. But anyway, so I want to know what you think. I mean, I have an idea of what I'm going to do. But I want to know what you guys think. Should I sell them as bundles? Excuse me. Or as wigs? Because this is what I realized. With the wig sales that I have. If I say I'm having a wig sale today. Then the hair is sold out. In a matter of hours. You know. Like if I post on my own. And I sell it through my Instagram. So let me my Instagram. So if I post on my Instagram. Okay. Wig sale today. Then in a matter of hours. They're like every single one that I have is gone so I'm wondering if you guys would prefer um, if you guys would prefer wigs or bundles I think wigs so um, the hair will be coming from my company frontals closures my company and then I'm going to actually um, make the wig with the hairs and then sell them as wigs rather than sell them as bundles. I don't need this as I, my eyebrows are uneven, but I don't care. So let me know what you think. All right, I am actually going to be using black opal. Oh, but no, but first, I'm not going to be using. All right, so I'm not going to be wearing a primer, but I'll be using LA Pro Conceal, and this is their color character, and it's just called Orange Character. Now, I have not color corrected in, I really want to say, years. Like, I really want to say it's because I've been doing, like, just full coverage foundations, you know, so I really had no need to color correct. But for some reason... I'm just like, oh, I miss this. Like, I miss how I used to do my makeup, you know? All right. Blend that out. You know who even got me into color correcting? Um, well, I used to watch a lot, of, a lot of videos, but who's really knowledgeable about color, color correcting is Destiny Godly. Oh, boy. Like Destiny knows her ish when it comes to color correcting, color theory, bruh. And she used to use those makeup forever palettes, bruh, bruh. All right, so just blending it up with the base of my beauty blender. That's all. You see, on my on the sides of my cheek is where it is a little bit more, you know, like pronounced, where it's more obvious. Like everywhere else, I can work with, but the sides of my cheek, boy. <sighs> so yeah, let me guys know. Let me know if. Well, I know I'm going to be making the wigs. I feel like the wigs are easy for you guys to do, but the thing is though, I'd have to charge for making the wig. You know what I mean? So. It probably be between fifty to hundred dollars more. You know what I mean? So yeah. Alright, so that's that. Then for my all over face. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm going to do something. Where is it? Okay, I'm gonna do something really weird. I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> I don't know. But this is rich caramel. I'm going to highlight. And I'm not wearing a primer. Highlight with rich caramel, and then I am going to low light with ebony brown. Mm -hmm. 
Alright. Beauty blender again. Yes, Auntie? Yeah, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Yeah. Okay, look at your text you here because I sent you the, um, her number and the name of the shop. Mm -hmm. Alright, Auntie. So I'm kind of putting it over my eyes here to kind of act as like a um, like an eye primer going in between my nose right here my nostrils I've never done my makeup like this before so technically I'm not wearing foundation you know Right, so now um, as it relates to the fitness belts, I mean the fitness, fitness belts are being sold and they're going down quite quickly which I am grateful for, you know, as a business but you know it sucks for you guys who haven't gotten the chance to get your fitness belt as it. So I am selling them myself. So because they're at the shops which I thought would have been more convenient for you guys because they're at like a central location i'm like yo i need to get them in a shop I need to get them in a shop i know i'm not but they weren't doing good they were not doing good at all in the shops so i know that i've been selling them like driving around selling them i'm wondering if people just and i, I don't just own vain but i have to wonder if people just want to meet me or like they really want the product you know what i mean I can't help but think like is it, is it they want to meet me or they want the product i don't know because i really thought that having them in the shops would have done better for most people but that's not the case well the truth is for the people who live like outside of kingston and hope more you guys i can understand you guys you know and whenever I, whenever I have a sale i use nuts for the express as well to ship so people who live in Sintan, Ochi, Trelawney, whatever, like you get your belts because I'm sending them to you the same day. So now I'm wondering, you know, like if it even makes sense for me to invest in a store, like a storefront. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just kind of like word vomiting while I'm doing my makeup, just kind of talking to you guys. And I want this to be a no step skipped kind of thing so let me zoom out a little this honestly does not look bad I mean, my brows don't look bad. Even though they need to be groomed. So let's go back in with uh, a little bit of rich caramel. And I'm going back in the areas where I think I need it most. Look at how my beauty blender looks.
not has been a dream of mine i've said it before i really want to go to a priscilla ono class we i wanted it to be this year because it's like you know what i'm going to save and go but then i also kind of really wanted to get pregnant this year too so you know here i am with child but you're going to a priscilla ono class definitely a dream of mine they aren't cheap either <laughs> i mean they're not the most expensive courses out there but sure ain't cheap oh and i'm, I'm thinking about classes i think i like how this looks i like how this looks so let me go ahead and set this this is huda beauty and this is called blondie even this to do set my highlight and i'm gonna be using my beauty blender again i'm just blender under here we're good And then while I'm here just take a brush like this and then take blondie and just put that on my brow bone while I'm here all right so um, me and Jeremy we've been talking nothing is setting stone as yet but I really want to do a class this year in December. Um, if it's not December, then it has to be next year. Because I really want it to be in New York. But then somebody had said that, yo, New York at the December time is really cold. So this is a bigger platform. And when I did the poll on my Instagram, like it was like basically half and half, like New York, Florida. The reason why it's Florida is because, you know, the weather would be better, obviously. But because I'm hella familiar with Florida. I already have a place where I use at Florida. I use um, Fellowship Tabernacle. That's my church. I use their um, church as the location, you know. So I use their if I'm going to be in Florida. So this is my um, Sasha Perfect Spice Matte Face Powder. Alright, so I use their when I'm in Florida. No, when I'm in New York. I have to search for a new venue <laughs> like everything has to be basically brand new so that's why I've, i was kind of you know i mean if it's new york if it's new york that you guys want i'll just have to make it work you know but um and then new york would it, it would definitely affect the price as well <sighs> unfortunately it's going to be new york um the price is definitely going to be affected because i'd have to probably rent like a hotel conference room you know I don't know if my church having a branch in New York. I know I have one, I think in Canada, Florida. I don't think I have one in New York. But yeah, so in New York, if it's going to be in New York, it's going to be between like six ninety five and five ninety five. But I always have like a hundred dollars off. So the real price would be between the five ninety five and four ninety five, you know? If it is that you catch the sale or whatever that we're doing. I like how this is turning out. I don't like it. Can't say I don't because I do. Alright. Well, blend this away. By blending I mean like I'm going to push this into my skin. 
it feels really good to talk to you guys and you see like how you guys don't really like when the music plays in the background i don't either you know like i'd rather much talk to you but because of how busy and how noisy my background my background is most times i can't you know and sometimes i'm like watching something just to be entertained so i'm looking at the viewfinder so i can kind of see what you guys are seeing but yeah so that's it so let's move on to that right. okay okay so this is going to be my the deuce by julia's this palette here and i'm going to be taking this color it's called crepes and that's going to be going in my crease So I turn the brush on the side, so the, the product is on the side. I'm going to bring it up here, which is what I normally do. Then I'm going right on my brow, right um, yeah, under my brow bow. Okay, okay, so then I'm going to be going in with uh, mustard, custard, which is purple. Whoa. I'm not wearing a base and this color is picking up very nicely so I'm going to pat it right over the crepes that I laid before going back in with custard and I'm patting on the color because it's coming up more pigmented this way than if I sweep it's more blending I don't really want it to blend I'm gonna blend right here <laughs> after me saying I don't want it to blend oh just let me blend all right, there is so I'm just going back in with custard custard and just a reminder I'm wearing no eyeshadow base all right a little bit more every day I love you just a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more okay so I'm back in with crepes the first color placed and I'm going in between my brow bone and the color I just laid. Oh, my brows need to be groomed so badly. You can see like the hairs. Let me see. I don't know if you guys can see like the hairs. It's just annoying. So I'm just going to kind of push the product onto the air rather than trying to blend it out again all right so now i'm going to be going in going in with chocolate this color right here and i'm going to the tip of the brush the tip and then i'm going to be going in the crease You know what? Let me just go ahead and take my 
so lay this as a base and then blend it out so this is my LA Pro primer in black different brush and again taking chocolate so that brown that I was using just going to work that on top Taking like the top of the brush, kind of blend that out. Then I'm going to go back in with the blender brush and let me take Crepes, this color here. So I was blending it first, now I'm just kind of patting it on. Yeah, so this is the other eye. Again, LA Pro Primer in black. my belly um then i'm going with chocolate i feel a little bit nauseous i read a comment on my lyric on cut page i uploaded a video on sunday sunday the 30th the 31st excuse me of march 2018 i mean 2019 i don't know when you're watching this video but 2019 so um i uploaded that video and like in that video i was like you guys i'm so sick and tired of looking like a bum or something to that effect and then well i made a i made us an insta story about it, it was like i'm so annoyed with looking like a bum i'm so tired of you guys seeing me like this like i just really want to look I just wanna look good for you. You know what I mean? Like that just wanna look good for you. So I'm going in with um crepes here, yeah, crepes now. And somebody commented and said, Listen to me, you look so much better than I did in my third trimester. Because <laughs> do we mean a pain? I had no time to dial up good in. 
I said I couldn't put time on draws good thing. And I was like, wow. And I can understand because, gosh, like if I show her in the morning, I'm like, well, that's that's it. I, I ain't gonna do this no more. The only thing is I sweat so much. I mean, I naturally sweat a lot. Like my sweat, this is probably TMI, but my sweat drips from my armpits, right? This should be dripping. <laughs> like drip, drip. <laughs> so it drips. So... I mean, it's just worse, especially because my tummy is like hanging over now. <laughs> it's just a lot of perspiration. But, um, yes, yeah, so I end up feeling nice as I crap. I have to go and bathe. Your bathing is a chore. It's, it's, it's a literal chore. I do not want to take a shower. All right, let's see how this looks. This doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. So let me just go ahead and kind of get rid of any five. Then I think I want to do something different with my eyeliner. So let me try. Guys, I've been trying to start this camera, which is not, it wasn't starting for me. So I'm sorry, I have to do the first lash without you. But these are my fashionista lashes and usually they curl up but because of how I have them stored they kind of flatten out but it it works for this look, you know. I like this lash better because it kind of kind of got up some. Oh Lord, I'm so tired. So when I do videos, it takes me. I try to edit the same day. If I don't edit the same day, it takes me a while for me to edit. So I have to edit like that same day. Edit, compress everything. It's so like filming. No, it doesn't take me like a couple of days. Well, it takes me a couple of days if, if I'm just too exhausted. But I try, because I, I know how I'm going to be. I try not to have it be a couple of days, you know. So these are the lashes. So let me look about my glow. Yeah. So this is my Juvia's Place Sarah Saharan Blush 2 palette. I'm kind of liking this look. So let me go in with, oh, let me do this, Yara. Oh Yara, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. More Yara, and again, remember, I'm not wearing a primer. I'm not wearing a primer, boo boo. Look at this. Then let's do Tau Tau. And for glow, let's go in with um, Zoba first. Let's see how that looks. Aww, Zoba is cute. So, still going in with Zoba. So, after this video, I'm going to be doing one. I'm going to flip the brush around and going back in with towel. I want to do a video about starting your own business. 
Let me know what you guys think. I want to knock out three videos today. Oh no, my lips. Ah, uh, my lips. Alright, so this is my LA Pro Primer in Nude that I did to do here my eyes. Let's see if it looks... I have nothing for my lips. Can you believe this? Then, let's go in with this pencil. I used to do my brows. This looks so nice if I had like a gloss. I can't believe I don't have no lip gloss in here. That's so weird. It, do I look like a crackhead? Does it look a little crackheadish? Let me. I'm gonna mute it. Girl, I'm over here building a lipstick. I cannot believe it's matte too, so. My lips look thicker to you. I can't believe I had to build my own lipstick at work. <laughs> I like how this looks. Mm, nice. Ooh, I love this look. Nice and fresh. Okay, all night to Urban Decay. I know I'm not wearing a perm, but I really love it. See how it just makes my glow look like it's like in my skin. But yeah, so BRB.